Came right down to it today. I told everybody I was done buying. Now, I did tell everybody that there was a New York. Listen, I'm not heartless. You know, I want to work with, with our clients and, and the people in New York. I, I do. There's just not a, a ton of outpouring and support for uh, for New York Reds. You guys know that. So, um, it was very, very difficult for me to... Um, address that this year right we had bought the philly bomb, bomb hugger that sold out and then um what's next right i looked at a number of horses i liked i, I wanted a huntsville i did i could have bought one really but in the middle of the summer in the middle of the summer we had uh gone to the farms right we'd gone to all the farms and um saw a so surreal colt that i loved now this was the problem so admirable's brother was 605. That's what number in the ring So Admiral Bros So Admiral Brother is the the Huntsville Colt and I loved that Colt. But I also loved Hip 586 Twin B Habanero. The So Surreal Colt who's a half brother to um the good filly that James drove for Francis um for Francis uh Twin B Sunkist was her name. She raced in a number of Grand Circuit events. She won a, I think she won a gold. Yeah, she must have won a gold at Grand River. 54 and two, uh, two-year-old Sunshine Beach filly. This is a giant brother to that filly by So Surreal. I love the So Surreals. Many, many people do. Uh, one of our clients say, geez, he might be too big for the halves of New York. Okay. Uh, first off, there's no reason to believe he would be. Secondly, there's still two tracks that are bigger than a half mile track. Three? Two tracks, two, three tracks that are bigger than a half. And thirdly, what if we didn't race him in the New York Cyrus? What if he was a nicer horse than that? Who knows? He's got a great family. This is a, uh, so this is a So Surreal Colt. Five, uh, five foals, three winners. The first one is Hurricane Norricane. That's a good name. Art Major, 180,000 made. Two-year-old Mark, 155. Twin B Salsa, not a very good horse, 25,000 made. Two-year-old Mark, 159. Twin B Sunkissed, Sunshine Beach, Philly. Two-year-old Mark, 154 and three. So there's nothing to believe that this horse, just because he's big, one, can't get around a half mile track, and two, can't be a really nice horse. Go to Facebook, go to Twitter, and look at the pictures I put on of this horse. He is an Adonis. Just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful horse. Twin B, um, the McNivens certainly do a fantastic job raising these horses. We had horses we had looked at today. I'll tell you a little story. I had a roll with Joe Colt that uh, one of our clients was adamant. He wanted, Brian wanted, uh, wanted hip 548, I believe. Yes, roll with the flow. Good looking horse. Really good looking horse at a win back. Now, as I was bidding on the horse, I was about to bid on the horse, I looked over and realized that Blake McIntosh was more than likely the one that was bidding. So I thought to myself, I don't want to run Blake up. I don't want to run, and Blake would keep going, you know. Blake has, has uh, some really good owners also. So uh, what if we push this horse to 30000 for no particular reason? So I thought to myself, you know what, why don't I kill two birds with one stone? Leave Blake alone. Leave the horse to go for fifteen thousand. Uh, at the time, it looked like it was going to be fourteen or fifteen thousand. And then call Brian and say, "Hey, Brian, um, I didn't get the horse, but you can get in with Blake." So I, I, I was sure Blake would allow me allow him to do that. So I'd call Blake and say, "Hey, there's this guy that's really adamant. He wanted this colt. I saw you were bidding on it. No point in, in paying too much for it. Why don't Why don't you buy the colt and and uh, our client will be." Um, grateful to be a uh, part of your stable if that's what you want to do and um, you know I always want to try and do what's right best I can for everybody and that was what was best for Blake definitely what was best for Brian so I hope those guys hooked up and they and they uh, formed a partnership on this colt because roll with the flow is definitely a really really good looking horse so I knew I couldn't get roll with the flow the freaking Huntsville colt I like them so much but I can tell you what happens more times than not at a sale. If I don't buy Twin B Habanero, right, and I wait for uh, Hayesville, the, the brother to uh, So Admirable, if I do that, I get both, I get neither. It happens almost every time. So I wasn't gonna be cute 
Um, I was going to buy, I liked both of them at the same price. Now, I think uh, Hayesville went for $23,000 and we paid twenty-seven. dollars But, you know, it's hard to it's hard to compare a So Surreal, a Huntsville. Uh, the So Surreals are, are very accomplished on the steak scene and in New York. Huntsville is a first crop sire that I very much wanted. But at the end of the day, I guess dollar for dollar, pound for pound, horse for horse, I think we got the right one. So number 586, Twin B Habanero. Now, I was done for the day. Now, um, Tim come down here to buy a horse and Tim Twaddle come down here to buy a horse. We're all kind of hanging out together. 